Let me tell you a little story. A father wanted his children to understand the Holocaust, and he decided to take them to Yad Vashem in Jerusalem. That's the memorial to the 11 million victims of the attempt to eradicate the Jewish people. Though concerned that his 11-year-old daughter was really young to view the horrific scenes depicted in Yad Vashem, he determined that well, she could always be taken out of the experience if it became too traumatic. Now, the little girl viewed the section depicting the Warsaw Ghetto. That's where children as young as four or five were left on the streets to fend for themselves after their parents were taken on trains to the death camps. Some of those children died from freezing. Others were shot for sport by the Nazi soldiers. And that's verified because the Nazis actually took photos of themselves doing it, as if they were proud to engage in such barbaric behavior. The little girl gazed at the photos from the death camps like Dachau, Bergen-Belsen, and Auschwitz-Birkenau. That was the death camp where 10,000 Jews, including women, children, and infants, were murdered in cold blood every day. And when the crematoriums couldn't handle the numbers, the Nazis took Jews by the thousands to large pits dug into the ground, and they shot them in mass, then pushed their bodies into the pit until another group could be shuttled to the site. The little girls stared at the photos of the disgusting destruction of innocent human lives and would sometimes read the inscriptions below the photos. As she prepared to exit the Yad Vashem exhibit with her father, she paused by the guest book on a podium on the way out. She reached into her father's pocket, took out his pen, then she began to write in the guest book. She put her name, address, and then she paused when it asked for comments. The father watched over her shoulder to see if what she wrote might help him to know whether the lesson of the Holocaust had registered with his young daughter. As he watched, she wrote words that he'll never forget. She simply wrote, why didn't somebody do something? That's all she wrote. But her words were haunting. Why didn't somebody do something? It was hard for her un to understand how such despicable things could be happening to human beings, and no one would speak up or stand up and try to stop it. She put the pen back into her father's pocket, and she didn't speak for several hours. But he never had to ask again if she understood the lesson of the Holocaust. That little girl goes to another podium almost every day these days. It's one at the White House. That little girl was my daughter, Sarah, who is now a wife, a mother, and you know her as press secretary to the President of the United States.